Hey guys, this is Lukayan Bulls TV. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the XLs, um, some of the best XL kennels today. Um, and then there's gonna be, I might mention some that didn't necessarily get a chance to talk about, but um, because I probably wouldn't have enough information on those kennels, okay? Um, so I'm going to start with um, kennels like Big Gemini and um, Primo Lines. I think Primo Lines is XL kennel, you know, where Dooley resides um, and where uh, Saki Bomb uh, was also staying um, with, uh, I think, Fred Duran. Um, but I didn't have much information um, on them, so I couldn't include them, as well as Big Gemini. I think they would probably be some of the Big Gemini dogs would be in that XXL category. Um, but, like I said, I also didn't have enough information on them, but I know they are very popular worldwide. Okay, so we are going to start with Anarchy Kennels, okay, located in uh, Illinois. Um, one of the very few kennels that I found with carib caribou loo blood. Um, you know, um, I like their dogs, the confirmation for the, for the, for the XLs. It's very hard to, um, find dogs, in my opinion, built like the ones that, um, Anarchy kennel, that's kennels, and I like the combinations of, um, of bloodlines that they used. Uh, his name is Drew Jones, so you definitely want to check him out on Facebook, okay? He had he has a caribou daughter. Um, okay, secondly, came to mind was um, Bossy Kennels. Now, I'm going to say this as well. I have to pre preface a lot of these kennels with do not purchase the Merles, okay? Um, a lot of XL people breed Merles, you know, for that market that they want to tap into to get more money. But um, we don't encourage that here. So I just want to put that there. Bossy Kennels has some of the best structured XLs that I've seen um, with some of the flashiest colors. Um, you know, their dogs are pretty pricey. But if you can afford to get a dog from them with good confirmation, um, I would do it. Just like I said stay away from the merles okay um the next kennel that came to mind was also hurricane bay kennels um back when i was in the xl game I, I bought a dog from them as well and i also got one from anarchy kennels but um hurricane bay kennels has been around for a while with matt mcdonald they produce some um some pretty good structured um xl dogs as well um like I said, stay away from the Murrows. Um, they have a very good combination of pedigrees as well. Um, they're always outcrossing to try to um, bring something else and new to the table. Um, very rarely do they repeat breedings, but they got some monsters over there um, um, with, with, I think, decent confirmation. Um, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't say they breed for the show ring, but um, they have some pretty good dogs that can be used as tools, okay? Um, so the next one that came to my mind was one of the most popular kennels today um, where there's so much controversy around sometimes, QBN kennels. Um, like I said, stay away from their murals. Um, they have some pretty well put together XLs. No one can take that away from them. Okay, and there's been some recent controversy. I've heard about um, some of the dogs showing signs of aggression. So anything you purchase, you would have to purchase at your own risk. But um, only from what I've seen on their channel, um, the dogs have really good confirmation. Okay, but we couldn't uh, ignore these guys. It's impossible. Okay. And um, definitely wanted to touch on today, uh, I think another kennel in Virginia, Potter's House, who has the winningest all-time American bully XL in, you know, Rick Ross. And uh, I think 
Mr. Antonio is still breeding, but I don't think he breeds as often. But you know, from um, Rick Ross to Yokozuna to um, who does he have now? Probably, I think, a dog named It. Um, you know what they bring to the table. Um, you're getting a well balanced dog. Um, and, and I think there's no way from what he's accomplished with his excels, he couldn't be on this list as well. Okay? And um, last but not least, um, a legendary kennel. They produce a lot of XXLs, but um, when I was in the XL community back in those days, that, they were like one of the biggest kennels. Um, a lot of people used it as a base for making their dogs just so much bigger, adding bone, mass, everything. Pro Bulls Kennels, okay? You can't talk about XLs and not mention a dog like King Kong, you know? Um, it's just not possible, especially for those in that community. Um, he is revered as one of the greatest producers um, for the XL. Um, but, you know, um, just wanted to wrap up this series today talking about some of the best breeders and kennels in, of every class um, so that you can have an idea. Like I said, um, guys, feel free to, because um, um, you guys have been doing a good job of um, commenting about other kennels that I don't know or um, have never heard of that you guys may know about. And I really appreciate the help because you are now going to help us to help other people to be able to find quality kennels to purchase dogs from. Okay, um, definitely gonna wanna stay tuned. We're gonna have some good interviews coming up in the next couple of months. Um, we all know that Nationals is right around the corner um, for all those who are going. I'm going to try to make it, um, but I can't make any promises. But um, if you like the video, just click that like button. Um, feel free to subscribe and we will see you next week.